The following program is rated TVMA. What you are about to watch contains explicit language, adult themes, violence, and may not be suitable for viewers under 18. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Hi, I'm your host, Blue Collar Joe, and this is What the Nuts, the podcast where we talk about all the things that drive us nuts. We'll explore all the big, the small, the funny, the infuriating. We'll talk about the things that happen to us, things that don't happen to us, things that happen to you, and things that are in the news. So if you're feeling a little nuts, you're in the right place because What the Nuts is going on right here. Okay, so, uh, these are my two co-hosts right here we got uh mr blaster uh he's been blasting all over the house and there's biz (laughs) yes sir (laughs) all right today on today's show we're gonna do a little uh are you smarter than a fifth grader i thought this would be a fun exercise we're gonna go ahead and uh oh and uh we have our special guest you know what i forgot about taylor because he's so un so forgettable Oh shit! That's right, that's right. With his little curly locks, you're throwing oh, shade he... in the first ten seconds of the video. Isn't, shit, isn't he fucking? Isn't he sexy? Look, all the ladies are gonna fucking jump in line for this one. All right, here we go. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the uh, first grade. The first grade. All right, first grade. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna randomly pull a fucking card out of here. And the question is first grade music. First grade music. Uh, I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Where am I going? To your mom's house. <laughs> hey, that's a good podcast. You're muted. You're muted, big guy. He's coming from Alabama with a banjo on his knee. Is he going to Nashville, Tennessee? Is that what that is? No. No? Fuck. Hey, Ron, no. That was pretty good, even though. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. It does rhyme. What's Taylor say? What do you think? (laughs) He's like, I have no clue. This I am not smarter than first grader. (laughs) (laughs) All right. The audience agrees. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh the answer is Louisiana. Louisiana? Louisiana. Damn, that shit didn't rub it rub at all. My shit even sounded better. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> did it. Yeah, yeah, it did sound better. All right. All right. One more first grade. We're going to do three first grade questions. So, All right. So we're already failing as first graders. This is good news. Yeah, this yes, ain't good. <laughs> it's shit. I don't even know how a first grader is supposed to know that one. All right, here we go. Uh, first grade math or first grade animal science? Let's, I'm going to go ahead Let's and go give, math. You guys the cat- we'll give you the, the category. Okay, first grade math. First grade math. You have 50 pennies left. Wait, you have 50 pennies. Jeff has 35 more. Jeff, wait. Let me fucking, Jesus Christ. This Whoa. is hard. Jesus, we're losing. Yeah. The Ranger can't read the question. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is bad. My eyeballs are fucking horrible. You have 50 pennies. Jeff has 35 more pennies than you. How many pennies does Jeff have? 85. The answer. Taylor? Come on, don't say I don't know, bro. Yeah, read it again. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> the answer is definitely 85. Over. 
Yeah, you have 50 pennies. Jeff has 35 more pennies than you. How many pennies does Jeff have? <laughs> no, you still don't know? You know about narrow hair, I think. Yeah, you take 15 plus 35, bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Man, Tay. All right, we see where we're at. This is a great point. <laughs> we, we see exactly where we're going. With no, this that year. was the right answer. It's first grade math. <laughs> yeah, it's first grade math. Yeah, yeah. Grade math. <laughs> this is a dish. Oh. All right. So we're going to go first grade science. We're going to go first grade science. The other side is math, so we're not going to do two math questions right right back to back. Let's see here. Let's see. Okay. Which was invented first, the record player or the tape recorder? The uh, tape recorder. Record player. No. Yeah. Record. Oh, record player. Oh, man. I really don't know. I want to go with player. Record player? I mean or tape recorder. I mean, man, one won't work. I mean, you can record shit, but you won't be able to listen to it without the record player. If you don't have a record player, you won't be able to record shit. So this is a solid guess. That's a solid guess. He be just chicken and egg that shit real quick. He sure the fuck did. It's record player. Yep, that's what I thought. So that got you guys both two points. Since Tay is not making any kind of effort to. Get any of the questions, he's still fucking stuck at a goose egg. That's because of this. All right. That's because of this. All right. We're we're moving on. We're moving on to second grade. Second grade. Okay. Second grade, yo. Second grade. I don't know what this is. Let's see here. All right. What are the parts of the plant or animal preserved in rock called? Fossil. Fossils. All right. Did Taylor get it? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Because I can't hear him. Everybody got something. Uh, if he didn't, I'd be worried. Right? I would be too. I would be too. All right. Second grade social studies. Oh, second grade social studies. Social Ooh. studies, bro. Let's run it. They're both social studies. Let's see what we got here. In 1770, what country was in charge of the American colonies? Britain. Yeah. Great Britain. That's that's funny. Wait, 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 no. Wasn't uh, whatever song 1767? I cannot help because this is your answer, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Britain. Help. I'm going with Britain. <laughs> Britain. PB's like, oh, fuck, I don't know if I should go with this shit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Second grade, second grade, second grade. Ooh, science or reading? Second grade science. Reading. Read. All right. Good night, sleep tight. What don't you want to bite you? You don't want the motherfucking bed bugs. Bite you. Yep, you don't want the bed bugs in your booty bed hole. Bugs. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> in the <laughs> booty bed hole. Bugs in the booty hole. Oh, my God. All right. That'd be tough. Mm -hmm. That'd be tough. <laughs> that would be tough. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on to third grade. Okay, okay. So. I almost fell to third grade. And that's the truth. Here we go. This is, I got some flashbacks from PV. I got, I got <laughs> suspended <laughs> twice. When I was in third grade, I, third grade, I I cracked a kid's skull by hitting him off the fucking urinal and got suspended. Almost got expelled. Wow! You so you were a bully. All right, got it. No, he was a bully. He was a bully. Oh, so you fucking took it out on? Yeah, him. Nice. yeah. Very good. All right, third grade science or third grade math? 
Math. I'm gonna go we've math because that, that's, that's gonna trip Taylor up. I think we had two science ones already, also, right? And we've only had one math. This one is multiple choice. This okay. Multiple choice. Yep. All right. A pyramid has how many sides? A, three or four. B, five or six. C, seven or eight. That's it. So, say, what was A again? A three is or three four. or four. Okay. B is five or six. And C is seven or eight. Well, being the math person here, I'm going to reserve my answer for a little bit later. All right. B. I already said A. I'm going with B then. Are you serious? Mm hmm. Are you serious, Mr. Math Man? Okay. PB's the only one that got it right. Yeah, there's only four sides on a pyramid. Unlike the Egyptian pyramids, there's only four sides. <laughs> the, the bottom goes into a fucking tunnel. There ain't no bottom side to it. You don't count the... <laughs> well, no, you count the bottom. The, the answer is three or four. I think there's actually, on the pyramids, there's three different sides, right? Then I guess the one on the bottom instead of four-sided. Oh, that's... Right, Good. Yeah. Maybe three or four. First of all, the pyramid is the base of it's a fucking square. So that means there's yeah. four sides and then the bottom, that's five. Eat a dick. B's right. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a dick. All right. Now, if your question was, is how many triangles on a pyramid, then it would be four. But now, it's how many now, sides. Now, there wait a second. Sides. Wait a second, boys. Wait a second. What what uh what grade level are we on? Three. Third. Right. Yeah. So how hard is the question gonna be? See, what you're you making it harder than it than than a third grade question. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta at least be right with your answer. There ain't three sides on a pyramid. There's four, the base is a square, so it's four, four sides, and then the base is the fifth side. Right? Get out of the college, right? It's a triangle yeah. in the shape of a pyramid. It's three sides. But any triangle looks like a pyramid at the same point, though. That's I see what that is. But you're, you're, you, you see but what I'm saying? Is it's not third a grade. Third grade. Not fucking college. That's not a pyramid. It's like this shit is wrong. It's <laughs> not a pyramid. All right. Third grade geography. Third grade geography. You guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show. In 1620, the Pilgrims landed in what is now Massachusetts. Where had they intended to land? Yeah. Maryland. That. Columbia. That's definitely wrong. I'm just saying so. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. He sure, said we were trying to find some weed in Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you're trying to find some notes in Colombia. Yeah, coffee beans and cocoa leaves. Mm -hmm. Get that cocaine. Where? I don't where say they tried to land Virginia on the Virginia border in that general area. I don't fucking know where they meant to land. I don't. Okay. <laughs> what do you say, Biz? I said Maryland. You said you said uh oh uh, weed? <laughs> Heard. <laughs> I say that too. I say that too. PB's the only one that got it right. What was his the only reason not Virginia, because Jamestown. Yeah, yeah, Jamestown, Virginia. I got you. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. I didn't listen to Here we go. Third grade. Third grade, remember, third grade, third grade, third grade, third grade, third grade geography, third grade math. Mm, I'm, I'm disappointed in the last math one. All right. Yeah, let's go math. Let's go math. All right. How many quarters do you need to equal $3.50? 14. PB, that was actually pretty fast. That was good. Yeah, facts. 
14, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, facts. I'm pretty, that's my thing. I'm, I'm not really smart by any means about certain things, but I'm good with numbers when it comes to like shit in my head. That's smart Alec. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> All right, we're graduating. We're graduating to fourth grade. Fourth grade, if I can get this fucking card out of here. Fourth grade. All right, fourth grade. There's a lot of cards here, so we're going to do... We're going to do five fourth grade questions. You ready? Five fourth grade questions. Um, let's see. Move this over here so I can see the timer. Yeah, we'll do we'll do a few fourth grade questions. And then we'll do a few fifth grade questions. I want to I want to I want to see where you guys are. All right. So, fourth grade science or fourth grade grammar? Uh, let's go science. I don't like grammar. I mean, we can do grammar too. It don't matter. Matter. All right. All right. All right. True or false? True or false? A plant that grows and dies all in one growing season is called a perennial. True. 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 Yeah, perennial because the other one's annual, isn't it? No? I'm going to go with annual. I'm going to go opposite of these two, just in case. Because I'm... I see I see the look on uh on Biz's face. He's like, fuck! <laughs> it's annual. It's annual. It's false. Because I think the way I remember that is I in my FFA class, my farming class, I think they said annual, you have to annually plan it, and that's how to remember yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's try the grammar question here. Oh, it's another true or false question. Another true or okay. false question. All right, so you guys should be able to fuck. You got 50-50 chance. You have 50-50 <laughs> shot of getting it fucking wrong. All right. The words costly and expensive are synonyms. I'll read it again. No, I'm still pondering. The true. words costly yeah. and expensive are synonyms. True. I want to say true, but I can't remember if synonym mean, synonyms mean alike. Yeah. <laughs> he, the said cinna, he said yeah. cinnamon. cinnamon. You know, I, cinnamon, I, don't, cinnamon. I don't have no toast for some cinnamon toast. Cinnamon toast. <laughs> yeah, I'm go, he said true, I'm going to go false. So once again, diverge. What's Taylor say? True or false? False. Yay. Biz is catching up. <laughs> I, I haven't kept track of my points. Where are we at, Biz? I haven't kept track of my points either. All right. So, <laughs> TB has nine. Biz has seven. And Tay Tay has four. Oh, He's no, obviously the this. smartest. I was robbed on the pyramid question. Yeah, yeah. He was robbed on the pyramid. Yeah. I, I don't. I, I don't. I just read the fucking questions. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do both sides of the card. From here on out, we're going to do both sides of the card. Okay. Okay, okay. So this is uh, geography. Fourth grade geography. Which one of the following countries is not located in Central America? Which one of the following countries is not located in Central America? Whoever's Googling Central America right now gets drop kicked. A, uh, you see my hands, right, right. <laughs> A, Costa Rica. B, Uruguay. C, Guatemala. I'll go with the Uruguay. Uruguay. A, B, or C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. D. He said D. D's nuts. <laughs> D's nuts. <laughs> I think we all voted the same. Uruguay is the answer. 
I believe the uh, Uruguay is not in Central. It's in South America. Correct. Uh, I ain't going to say correct, but I believe so. All right. The other side of the card is fourth grade music. No oh, man, it's not. I'm terrible fourth with the music. Fourth grade music. No, it's, actually, it, music hey, hey, it's, it's multiple it's choice. Great. It's so multiple choice. Don't, don't, uh. Tell Taylor to put his dick away. <laughs> No matter what the answer is, Taylor's going D. That's right. He said, he said, I'm going to show you my D. All right. All right. Who wrote the music for Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star? Yeah. Tony, Tony Stark. Huh? <laughs> Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. All right, it's multiple well, choice. It's multiple choice. It's multiple choice. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the first one. Uh, A. Handel. B. Never Mozart. Heard. C. Beethoven. Beethoven. Who wrote the music for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna say Mozart mm-hmm. just because I know he was a child, uh, like you know, producer, so he might have made some. Wait, wait, wait! It was Beethoven, Mozart, and who else? Handel. The first dude I've never heard of. Oh, uh, I think Biz got it right. I think Biz got it right. Anyways, the answer to the question. Let's see here. It was Mozart. B. Damn. The only reason I thought it was Mozart is the first dude I'd never heard of, and I knew Mozart started making music when he was a kid. So <laughs> here we go. We're gonna grab this one. Fucking give me that one. Here we go. Fourth grade science. Fourth grade science. Here we go. Which one of the following statements is not true? Okay. Um, A. Lipstick was invented by Susan B. Anthony. B. Lipstick contains fish scales. C. Lipstick is made from sheep's wool. I'm going to go C. 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 Yeah. Oh, shit. You guys all got it wrong. Well, huh? The, the, one that, the one that's true is lipstick was invented by Susan B. Anthony. Gotcha. <laughs> so it does have... Is, so, so. so it does have fish scales... And it does, it is made from sheep wool. Catch it. All right. Here we go. Fourth grade social studies. Fourth grade social studies. Here we go. All right. The capital of the United States is Washington, D.C. What does the D.C. stand for? I know, so I'm gonna wait a second. You don't know, PB? No. Tay Tay. Tyler. What does DC... No, he's thinking. He's thinking he's thinking uh dick and cunt or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> is something is it Colum- is, is Columbia in it is district no. No, I don't know. Fuck it. I don't know. PB's flirting with it. It's District mm-hmm. of Columbia. That's what I was going to fucking say. That's literally what I was going to say, but I didn't want to sound like an idiot because I thought I was going to be wrong. Literally. 
look, don't don't be like like that, bro. Don't be like that. <laughs> Cause that's not gonna make you look dumb, all right? <laughs> Missing the first grade question made you look dumb. Hey, would you have known that one? Actually, I would have. I know a lot about uh, D.C., how it's not a state and how it's not. No, no, no. About the first grade question. Oh, the, the first. Banjo on his knee going to blank. I had no idea. Exactly. So you would have got that shit wrong, too, is what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's see. That's three. So I said we're doing four, right? Or five. I said five. Yes. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> let's do fourth grade math. Let's do fourth grade math. It's not going to be easy like the last ones were. Do I need a sheet of paper and a pencil, bro? Nope, I'm not Whoa. using one. Whoa. Because Whoa. It, technically, have you ever watched when uh, yeah, Fox you do had need the a... show? He had a pad. He was able to have a pad. Yeah. But if Biz don't want to use a pad, I'll try to run it in my head. Let's do uh, it. Okay. All right. This one. This one. Oh, man. I know what the answer is just looking at it. All right. Huh? Reduce this fraction. 14 eighteenths. Three quarter. No, for it. No, fuck no. No. Reduce this fraction. 14 eighteenths. Yeah. I'm no. waiting. <laughs> 14 eighteenths. Biz knows. I knew what it was as soon as I fucking seen it. Fractions are like kind of a strong. Well, people even people have a lot of trouble with fractions in college. Like that's they, well, that yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of different ways to do that's it. That's one of the reasons I was a learning assistant. Like people have issues with fractions and stuff like that in college. What do you say, Tay Tay? Tyler, fourteen divided by eighteen, but I can't reduce it to fraction. We don't okay. Care about okay. Yeah. 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 I know. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. saying you can check that, but I I can do that shit. But I don't. The fraction. Don't don't help. I'm going. Don't help. Uh, Taylor. Taylor. What's your answer? Taylor. What did you say? You don't know, big dog. <laughs> Why is he always trying to suck on his fingers on the podcast? <laughs> He's like, look at this. Is I can fucking go. Five knuckles deep. Check it out. Okay, seven over nine. <laughs> okay. So basically, oh, yeah. when you okay, so when you reduce a fraction, you're basically taking if if you can, like in this situation, in this particular situation, you're going to divide each one by half because you want to get it to the lowest possible fraction. Yeah, I know, I know what it is, but you don't I, ever. I don't think. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This one. This one. On shit like that, my brain just works different. Fourth grade animal science. Okay. This PB should be real strong in this one because you know he likes animals. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, okay. As long as it wasn't the other thing you said. Earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. Was a chicken, different kind of liking it. Look, I don't. Look, I don't. Just because the chicken. <laughs> Just because the chicken looked at you funny, like, you know. Okay, so this is from the subject. There used to be this joke that went around school, like if somebody was trading or selling something, they would say, I'll get you a can of Copenhagen and an already fucked chicken. Heard. Yeah. Well, yeah, that way, that way it's quiet yeah. when you fuck it again. That was dark. I, I'm not even going to comment on that one. That one was dark real quick. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Fourth grade animal science. True or false? Is it the female lion that has a mane? 
No. True or false? False. 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 All right. It's like asking if it's a female lion that has a beard. Mm. Right. All right. These questions seemed a lot harder on the actual TV show, bro. Oh, it's way harder on the TV show. You, the, you're not being able to discuss it. Yeah. You're not being able to discuss shit on the TV show. No, what I mean, like the questions themselves are harder, it seems like, on the TV oh. show. Oh, these are dumbed down for fucking regular folks like us. That's that. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. Well, because, okay, so you had two, you got to think about it. You had two, you had two people, two grown ups, right, facing off against each other, and you had, what, eight kids? Yeah. Yeah. Eight probably. kids to help them. We're just doing this willy nilly. Okay. Fourth grade math again. Why does the math keep coming up so much? You, you, here we go. Brains are stacked back. Uh, biz, uh, true or false? Three is a factor of ten. You just broke my brain with that one, but three <laughs> is a factor of ten. Mm-hmm. True or false? Well, I know the answer, but uh... Taylor, true or false? You got a 50 50 shot, bud. False. Holy shit, Taylor got a math question right. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't even know. <laughs> what do you say, PB? True or false? I said false. Oh, I yeah. said it again. I was shaking my head. All right. All right. Holy shit. Taylor came through. Mm-hmm. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. You see him smiling back there? Yeah. Can you believe it? Oh, here we go. <laughs> fourth grade. Fourth it's the indica, bro. <laughs> yeah. Fourth grade social studies. Fourth grade social studies. Here we go. Here we go. Fourth grade social studies. The Boston Tea Party occurred when... Local patriots boarded British ships and dumped high-priced tea into the harbor. How did these protesters disguise themselves? As the Reds. I know the answer, so I'm waiting for... They, they, dis- they, dis- they disguise themselves as the English... What did Taylor say? Taylor. What, you, what Taylor. was your response to the question? You know, I think that they dressed up as the KKK members. There wasn't okay. no K- the KKK wasn't around then. No, but okay. Just, Good, try. Just, Good try. Good <laughs> try. <laughs> Good try, buddy. Good. You're doing great. All right. Indians. What, what your oh Indians? Are you sure, Biz? Are yeah, you, they dressed up as Indians. All right, you just tied did they? It, you, yep, you just tied it up, buddy. You just tied it up, and you that should. concludes fourth, fourth grade. grade. That concludes fourth grade. <laughs> All right, fifth grade. We're gonna do. We're gonna do five cards. Okay. Okay, okay. Five cards, both sides. Both okay. sides. So, ten questions. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh, fifth grade math. What is the total number of factors of 12? What is the total number of factors of 12? <laughs> what is the Just like, <laughs> What do you say What do you say Tyler uh, I think Two Three Four Six Yeah Two Three Four Six No it's the Total factors uh, What oh, is four. the Total number Of factors 
of 12. Oh. How many factors? Four. Four. Okay. You say five? I'm going to say six. I Biz is right. It's six because you can count 12 as itself. I right. About that. right. I forgot about counting 12 as itself. Right. It's one, two, three, four, six, and 12. Yep. Okay. So Biz took the lead. Uh, yeah, Biz is up by one. Our next question is fifth grade life science. True okay. or true or false? Stems transport water to the other parts of the plant through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, photo, photo, that word. Mm -hmm. true, true or false? Could you false. read the question again? I can read the question again. True or false? Stems transport water to other parts of the plant through photosynthesis. All right. What's your answer, PB? I said false. Okay, I'm going with false too. My shit was muted. I said it earlier. I, I forgot my shit was muted. So, okay, I'm going with false too. True or false? <laughs> oh, Taylor did say false. False, baby. False. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. Fifth grade geography. The symbols on them on a map are explained in which one of the following? A. Upper right corner. B. Directions. C. Legend. C. I'm going with C. C. Taylor, you know how to read a map? C. C. Do you know how to read a map? That doesn't answer my question. <laughs> Do you know how to read a map? He's like, no. Yeah. No, I don't know how to read a map. All right. You guys all got that shit. Now, I know how to read a map, but knowing how to navigate from a map is a completely different story. I know how to do that. I could do it. I could do it if I... All and right. Without a compass, I can tell you how, which way is north, south, east, and west. With mm -hmm. a stick. With a stick, huh? <laughs> yeah, you literally stick the stick in the ground and you watch the shadow. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, fifth grade English. Here's where Biz is going to shine because he's an English major. But... A town that receives the action of a verb is called what? Adjective? I got my answer. Is that adjective? What do you say, Taylor? Adverb. Okay, I, I just want to say a pronoun. Two adverbs and a pronoun. I said an adjective. Objective? Adjective. 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 Yeah, that one. That one. Okay. It is. A noun that receives the action of a verb is called what? A direct object. No points will be awarded. No. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fifth grade art. We haven't had an art question yet. Fifth grade art. Name the 19th century photographer best known for his striking images of Civil War battles. A. Matthew Brady. B. George Eastman. C. Louis DeGere. I have no clue. So I just have a shot in the dark. I'm with OC. That's exactly what I was going to say with C. But, but, 
This is one ahead of me. So I'm gonna go with A. I'll go C. Watch none of us get it, watch it be fucking B. Come on, Richie, you're leaving us on a cliffhanger. You said A, right? Yeah. And he said C? Yeah, mm -hmm. they both said and C. He said C. It's A, Matthew Brady. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> PB got the point. PB got the point. Woo. It's tied right, up. So it's down. tied up. Here we go. All right. Fifth grade social studies. Fifth grade social studies. Here we go. After Columbus's voyage in nine, in 1492, the Spanish and Portuguese began bickering about land claims. Who served as a mediator in these disputes? A. Vasco da Gama. B. Queen Isabella. C. Pope Alexander. I don't know. Someone would be. A. I believe it's going to be A or C. Taylor. A. All right. The answer is C. Devin. Pope Alexander. Okay. Yep. Pope Alexander. All right. That kills that one. Like the Pope. Heard. Like the Pope. Here we go. Fifth grade English. Fifth grade English. Here we go. Fifth grade English. True or false? True or false question. Here we go. The words his, our, and your are called personal pronouns. Yeah, you can. I'm going to say true. True. I believe it is too. Everybody gets a point. But, yeah. yeah. All Perfect. right. Here we go. Fifth grade geography. Elevation is the height of land above what? C. Taylor. Of land. Read that again. Elevation is the height of land above what? C. Yep, C. C. C level. Da, 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 da. All right, everybody. Gets that was an easy one. Yeah, that was pretty easy. <laughs> For a joke, I was about to say hide above the equator, but. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. Fifth grade music. Uh, better be what you're doing. All right, I love you, sweetie. No, come on. <laughs> In music. A whole note is you. held for how many beasts? In music, a whole note is held for how many beats? Uh, I believe it's eight. Eight. It's eight or twelve. I think I can't remember. I think I'm gonna go with eight. Say four. Six. This biz biz got it right. So. So uh, music is always like in increments of four, so it's yeah. four, four, eight, four. twelve, sixteen, right? Four mm -hmm. is the four is the four is the answer. All right. Well, it's not always in four four, but that's just what you start out and what they teach you. Then you can go to like two four, three four, or different stuff. But right. you start you start out with four four because it's the easy one. Right. Like it makes it easier to do the counting and pausing because then you just do one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three. And then you, you can figure out when you're supposed to come back in and when you're not. Right. 
Fifth grade social studies. Final question. Final question for the fifth grade. Fill in the blank. Men and women who belong to the Senate are called what? Like in political standpoint, or I'm just gonna say senators. The senator. I'll read it again. Fill in the blank. Men and women who belong to the Senate are called blank. What do you say, Taylor? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know <laughs> is the wrong answer. Go ahead, PB. What do you say? I don't understand. It might be because I think I'm a little bait. But are they going off like their standpoint in the political I don't, party? I don't, I don't know. I, it's not about political party. Listen, I'm gonna it's not about political party. Listen. Listen to the question. Okay. Fill in the blank. Men and women who are be who who belong to the Senate are called oh, yeah. blank. Senators then. Okay, senators on with like this. Senators. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, both of you guys got a point. Is yes, there what was I thinking of where it's like the house and if you win the house representatives? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. All right, Biz. You're the winner. Yes, sir. One million do dollar question. One million dollar question, Biz. One million dollar question. Is he the only one able to answer it? One million dollar question, yeah. Okay. Oh. I don't like the sound of that already. This is a good question. This is such a good question. You probably will not get this one correct. However, for one million dollars and the champion title, what is your body's largest organ? After Biz locks in his answer, I want to answer this. Your largest organ. Um, I'm going to say the intestines. Can, you... can I answer now? Even though it won't count, can I answer? What do you think the answer is? It's the skin. It's your skin. Yeah. I, 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 it's your skin. Yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah, Please. player. 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 All right. That concludes. Uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? We'll have to do this again sometime, I think. Definitely. We need to get drunk and do this. I think we <laughs> would be a lot drunk. more fucking funny if we were drunk fucking trying to answer this shit. I mean, we can make it happen. I got two fists and I can I can make it happen any day of the week. The problem is I got to <laughs> wake up and fucking work the next day. So, here's the deal. If you guys made it this far, if you guys made it this far, Thank you for watching. We appreciate you, everybody who clicks on this video. And uh, go ahead and drop a like. You know, uh, subscribe to our channel so you can see what kind of fucking crazy shit we're into next week on What the Nuts. I'm your host, Blue Collar Joe. That's Biz. Yes, sir. And that's PB. For those guys and myself, we're gone, no, Taylor. Like, like a fart in the wind.
bitch. Here I go. <laughs> I heard you've been looking for me, bitch. Here I go. I hear that you're looking for me, bitch. Here I go. 